everybody, Blaine Seitz, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing in Columbia, Maryland. Power, speed, distance, it's something we all want more of, but the question is how do we get it? Now, here at Second Swing, whether we're doing a new fitting or a fitting for a used clubs, what we're trying to do is optimize your ball flight. We want to get the most distance possible while retaining your stopping power so that you can go out and score low. The thing is, while we can optimize the clubs to fit your swing, to add more distance, to really raise that ceiling on your performance, we need to improve one key factor, and that's club head speed. Now, there's a direct relationship between club head speed and distance. The faster that you can swing the club, the more ball speed that you can produce, the more spin you can produce, and you can control the ball more easily around the course. Now, in this video, what we're going to talk about are a couple really simple exercises that you can do both at home and at the course before your round to get your muscles active and stronger so that you can swing faster, hit the ball farther, and score lower. One of the keys to improving your overall strength and increasing your club head speed is to get your glutes active. Those are the muscles of your butt, the top of your legs. They're very powerful muscles and it's very important to get them active so that you can create stability through your body and create a lot of power through your swing. So before you even get to the golf course, as part of your morning routine, I encourage you to get into the habit of activating your glutes. And to do that, we're going to lay on the ground on our back and we're gonna put our hands underneath your butt. You can go palms up or palms down, that's up to you. And then we're gonna simply spend some time with our eyes closed, squeezing your butt as hard as you can and then relaxing it. And then we squeeze it as hard as we can and relax it. You can also try squeezing just one cheek and relaxing and then try the other cheek and relaxing. But doing this for about a minute every single morning will go a very long way into getting your glutes to activate and to wake up, which builds the foundation for power. And then when you get to the golf course, we're gonna talk about a simple stretch you can do to open your hips up to combat all the stiffness that occurred when you drove to the course. All right, so you've activated your glutes at home, you've gotten to the golf course, and now it's time to open your hips up so that you can take that new strength that you started to develop and really translate it into the ball while protecting your lower back. What we're gonna do is a stretch known as a Samson lunge. And what we're going to do is get into a split stance, one foot in front of the other with a little bit of width between them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our belt and our belt buckle. We wanna see if in this position we can tilt that belt buckle, tilt it down, which arches the back, or tilt it up, which flattens and rounds the back. What we want to do here is lock it into this flattened and round position, and we're going to start to feel a stretch down the front of our leg that's behind us. Now, hanging out in this position, I'm going to drive my back leg down through the ground while keeping my chest tall. I'm trying to focus the stretch right here in the front of my hip. I'm going to remain tall and breathe. And then after about a minute, I'll switch sides and repeat on the other side. So there you have it. A really simple couple of exercises that you can do throughout the day that take no more than five minutes that will guarantee improve your club head speed so you can hit the ball longer, straighter, and score lower.